Ever gaze at an eclipse and wonder about its impact on our planet? It's a question that has fascinated thinkers and researchers for centuries. Let's delve into this celestial phenomenon. An eclipse, whether lunar or solar, is a spectacle to behold. It's a dance of the celestial bodies, a cosmic ballet, if you will, where the Earth, Moon, and Sun align in perfect harmony. The Sun, our primary source of light, momentarily obscured, leaving us in a state of awe and wonder. But there's more to this than just the spectacle. There's a science behind it, a science that might just have an impact on our very own planet. You see, these celestial bodies aren't just hanging in the void of space, they're bound together by an invisible force, the force of gravity. Yes, the same force that keeps our feet firmly planted on the ground, but gravity's reach extends far beyond our terrestrial bounds. It pulls on the moon, keeping it in orbit around our planet. It pulls on the sun, keeping our planet in its yearly journey. And here's where it gets interesting. This gravitational pull also affects the Earth's tides, causing the rise and fall of ocean waters. The moon, being closer to us, has a more significant influence on these tides than the sun. But when the three align, as in an eclipse, their combined gravitational pull creates what we call spring tides, when high tides are higher and low tides are lower. Now, imagine these forces acting on the solid Earth, on the tectonic plates that make up our planet's crust. Could these gravitational shifts, these tidal forces, trigger seismic activity? Could they be the straw that breaks the camel's back, causing a tectonic plate to slip, resulting in an earthquake? These are questions that scientists have been grappling with. The answers aren't clear-cut, and the research is ongoing. But it's a fascinating subject, isn't it? A celestial event potentially impacting our terrestrial lives, reminding us of our place in this vast universe. So, could these gravitational shifts trigger seismic events? Let's delve a little deeper. Recent studies have sparked some fascinating conversations. In our quest to understand the mysteries of the universe, scientists have been probing the delicate dance between celestial bodies and the Earth's crust. Let's delve into this a little deeper. There's a body of emerging research that suggests we may see a slight uptick in seismic activity during times of maximum tidal stress. Now for those scratching their heads, maximum tidal stress occurs when the moon and sun line up with the earth creating high tides due to their combined gravitational pull. And guess what? These are the exact conditions needed for an eclipse to happen. Intriguing, right? But before we get carried away, it's important to remember that these findings are still in their infancy. They're suggestive, not definitive. Science is a careful process, and each new discovery is merely another piece of a vast, complex puzzle. The scientific community, while intrigued by these findings, remains cautious about jumping to conclusions. It's one thing to observe a correlation between two events, but it's quite another to prove that one event directly causes the other. In this case, we're talking about celestial alignment and earthquakes, two phenomena that are governed by a multitude of factors. This is not to say these findings are insignificant, quite the contrary. They open up a whole new world of discussion, a fascinating intersection of astronomy and geology. They allow us to ask questions we might not have considered before. Could the gravitational pull during an eclipse really influence tectonic activity? If so, to what extent? Remember though, that correlation does not equal causation. The moon's gravitational pull might affect the Earth's tides, but its effect on seismic activity is still a subject of much debate. In conclusion, while these studies provide tantalizing hints towards a potential connection between celestial events and earthquakes, they're far from the final word on the matter. The journey to understand our universe is a long one, filled with twists, turns, and unexpected discoveries. It's clear we're just scratching the surface of this intriguing possibility. So let's continue exploring, questioning, and learning together. History is rife with tales of earthquakes during eclipses. Now let's dive into some of these captivating accounts that have stoked human curiosity for centuries. Picture this. It's the year 1551, and an eclipse darkens the skies over eastern Anatolia in modern-day Turkey. A few short days later, a massive earthquake strikes, causing significant destruction. Fast forward to the year 1855. A total solar eclipse is witnessed across parts of Europe and Asia. Within a fortnight, the great Neapolitan earthquake claims thousands of lives in southern Italy. Intriguing, isn't it? But before we get carried away, let's bring in the voice of reason, science. While these stories are certainly fascinating, they are, after all, anecdotes. 
individual instances that don't necessarily represent a definitive pattern. The scientific community posits a more measured perspective. Yes, the alignment of celestial bodies during an eclipse does result in increased tidal stresses, which could theoretically have an impact on seismic activity. But here's the catch. The gravitational forces at play during an eclipse are only slightly stronger than what we experience during a regular full or new moon. Furthermore, predicting when and where an earthquake will occur remains a complex and elusive challenge. The Earth's crust is a vast and intricate system of moving parts, and the triggers for seismic events are manifold. Even if eclipses could slightly increase the probability of an earthquake, this effect is but a drop in the ocean of factors that contribute to seismic activity. So while the tales of eclipses and earthquakes make for an enthralling narrative, they should be taken with a grain of scientific skepticism. The connection, if any, is slight. And most importantly, earthquakes are not exclusive to the times of eclipses. They can and do occur at any time. So, while eclipses might exert a small influence, earthquake preparedness remains crucial. After all, when it comes to safeguarding ourselves and our loved ones from the unpredictable forces of nature, readiness is our most potent weapon. Regardless of celestial events, being ready for earthquakes is vital. Now, let's get down to the nitty-gritty of earthquake preparedness. It's all about being proactive and taking steps to protect ourselves and our loved ones, regardless of when or why an earthquake might strike. One of the first things you can do is to secure your home. This means bolting down any heavy furniture that could tip over and cause injury during an earthquake. Don't forget about securing those bookshelves, televisions, and heavy mirrors. And remember, water heaters can turn into projectiles if they're not strapped down. It's a simple step, but it can make a big difference. Next, let's talk about emergency plans. Yes, they might seem like a bit of a chore to put together, but when an earthquake hits, you'll be glad you have one. Your plan should cover where to meet if your family gets separated, who to contact, and what to do if you're indoors or outdoors when the shaking starts. It's a good idea to practice your plan regularly, too, so it becomes second nature. Of course, an emergency plan isn't much use without an emergency kit. This should contain enough food, water, and medical supplies to last at least three days. But don't stop there. Think about including items like a flashlight, batteries, a portable radio, and a whistle to signal for help. And don't forget about any specific needs your family might have, like medication, diapers, or pet supplies. But preparedness isn't just about what you do at home. It's also about engaging with your community. Find out about local earthquake plans and resources. Join a community emergency response team if there's one in your area. And don't forget, communication is key. Make sure your neighbors know about your plan, and you know about theirs. After all, in the aftermath of an earthquake, we're all in this together. Finally, let's talk about early warning systems. These can give you precious seconds to take cover before the shaking starts. There are many apps and devices available that can alert you when an earthquake is detected. Remember, even a few seconds can make a big difference. In the end, earthquakes, like all natural disasters, are part of our world. And while we can't predict them with perfect accuracy, we can prepare for them. We can secure our homes, create emergency plans, maintain emergency kits, engage with our communities, and make use of early warning systems. It's true, the celestial events we've discussed today add a layer of intrigue to our understanding of earthquakes. But whether or not there's a connection, the most important thing is to be ready. Remember, preparedness is key, no matter what the stars might suggest. Now, we're curious about your thoughts. As we journey together through the fascinating realms of celestial events and seismic activities, we've uncovered some intriguing possibilities. The potential link between eclipses and earthquakes, for instance, is something that stirs the imagination. But what does this connection mean to you? Perhaps you're a stargazer with an interest in the mysteries of our universe. Maybe you've watched a lunar eclipse and wondered, could the alignment of celestial bodies really have an impact on our Earth's crust? Or perhaps you've felt the ground shake beneath your feet, prompting you to question the forces that drive our living planet. We also know that many of you out there are well-versed in the art of preparedness. You understand that knowledge is power, and that being informed is a key part of being ready for whatever Mother Nature might throw our way. So how does this potential celestial seismic link factor into your preparedness strategies? Are you more vigilant during times of celestial alignments, considering the possibility that the gravitational forces at play might trigger seismic events? Or do you see this link as just another fascinating piece of the cosmic puzzle? Something to ponder as you gaze up at the night sky. 
but not something that significantly alters your approach to disaster readiness. We invite you to share your insights, your stories, and your strategies. After all, we're all in this together, learning from one another as we navigate our way through the complexities of our universe and our Earth. Does this celestial seismic connection influence your views on disaster preparedness or is it just a fascinating scientific footnote? We look forward to hearing your thoughts. And remember, whether we're staring up at the stars or feeling the ground beneath our feet, we're all part of this incredible cosmic journey.